Hello guys and welcome back to the channel where we are trying to sell some stuff on eBay. I'm Polish Pete and I'm eBay reseller based in UK. I'm back in UK actually and I thought when I'm here I'm gonna try to do some vlogging videos or something like that just to show you how I work and just to show you how my processes are. I came back to UK uh, two days ago but it was during the night so I don't count that Thursday yesterday I had plenty of things to sort out at home and I started uh, to do stock take I've done everything that was in the loft and I'm doing now everything that is in, in my eBay office so let's go and have a look how it looks like <laughs> So this is how my stock looks like, guys. Boxes with uh, letters like like this VA, VC, VD, VB, WA, WC, WD, WB, and stuff like that. And the stock is there. So, for example, this one, VA 35, and that little dot. That means that's my SKU number. Uh, so when this item sells I know that VA35 has sold and I have to pick it up that dot here means that it, it goes by via Royal Mail and it's uh, between 100 grams and 250 grams when it's over 250 grams I put plus over here when it's uh, under 100 grams I put minus here and this is what this is when I photograph them and pack them I take a picture of that and when I list them I know what to put into my skew now uh, doing the stock take I've got a piece of paper that's a box TA and I have listed everything that was on eBay and I just cross it when it's in the box when something is not in the box I circle that number and I have to uh, figure it out what has happened if something is actually in the box but not not on the list it means that somehow it vanished on eBay it happens sometimes eBay just do the backup or whatever and the stock is lost also I do mistakes sorry for shaking I do mistakes and sometimes uh, I just photograph item and I forget to take a picture of that SKU number so I have to find it and uh, and put that SKU number into my listing so far this is what is in the box in the box in the storage boxes but it's not on eBay so I have to figure that out uh, not much to be honest for I don't know probably close to two years not doing stock take yeah I have to sort it out basically one more thing about the stock take uh, if you can see here when I do the stock take I check the box if there is a room for more items to be put in and I just write down the numbers to make a skew on the uh, polymailer so in this box actually I can put from 56 to 60 sorry from 53 to 60 so about eight new items so these are my skew numbers that I put on my uh, polymailers this is a shipping label I do three columns then I cut it with my scissors uh, and I do something like that I basically uh, stick it like that on the table then I take my scissors and I cut them like that 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 you know just to the actually to the uh, to the desk but it stays like that if you if you know what I mean I can't do it with my one hand 
it stays like that so when I uh, have a shipping label a uh, ship sorry when I have a shipping bag that poly mailer I just rip it out and I basically stick it on my uh, poly mailer and that's it that job done this is how the finished uh, poly mailer looks like with my skew then I photograph the item pack it over here and when it has to go via Royal Mail I just make that circle or plus oops sorry or minus and that's it that's all about it and I then when I list I know what to put into my SKU number and I know if it goes via courier or via Royal Mail because if it goes via courier nothing is here basically so I've made myself a bunch of poly mailers ready to be packed so when I photograph here uh, flat laying I pack it I wait it I make a mark if it go, it's going via Royal Mail and that's it job done put it aside carry on with the next one these are some uh, what you call them audiobooks on cassettes I've got them for years on my dead pile I have to sort them out I have to put them in kind of bundles of the same author maybe or same genre 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 I don't know how to pronounce that word and make little bundles and photograph them and pack them to be sold and this is what I'm going to do now so guys I've sorted them out there we go I've got some bundles like a woman's hour Wilbur Smith John Grisham that's a uh, Lord of the Rings uh, these are Be Be Beatrix Potter but two uh, cassettes are missing but I'll still list them maybe somebody will want them these are those talking classics massive bundle uh, Catherine Cooks uh, Cookson uh, I've got a bundle of Sharp and some Bernard Cornwell uh, some some other novel by him that's a big massive bundle of Sharps here with some another two I may actually go this way yeah make it this one a bit more attractive and add this one uh, this novel to this bundle yeah like I said that's sharp not full episodes not full series but yeah still a lot of them James Herbert don't know the guy honestly speaking uh, that's Agatha Christie uh, some Miss Marples and one what's his name Poirot these are some uh, comedians and I'll throw I have thrown this one com comedy in music uh, just to make a bundle these are two Winnie the Pooh the these are this is like uh, I don't know if that's the same or or it's that that's like a continuation I have no idea I have to have a look on this one if these are the same then I will have to split that this is like a miscellaneous bundle uh, something that I out of the uh, notes on the back and out of the cover I find this like a ladies uh, books this this is a frost two of them uh, this is inspector Morse I don't know five of them I think this is Michael Palin I've heard that name but I don't recognize the guy at all two this is radio 4 oops not this not this stuff this is radio 4 or BBC radio collection or something like that stuff I don't have idea about this is like a crime bundle it's Sherlock Holmes this thing uh, great train robbery is it or something like that uh, this is a children bundle 
this is the what's his name Colin Dexter he has three four of them I think uh, this is kind of a bundle I, I will list it maybe somebody will want it Freud from for the beginners and some sup, super self-confidence like a psychological stuff uh, this is like a crime bundle as well and I've got the last bundle which is like a miscellaneous bundle again some newer things like the Da Vinci Code by Darren Brown uh, this Belinda Lang never heard about her and Colin Forbes yeah I think I'm gonna list them photograph and list them no photograph and pack them tomorrow because I have to go home my wife has phoned me uh, I started with audio cassettes as well because they were mixed with uh, audio cassettes guys I paid for all that I think 20 quid including those audio cassettes and there is like a plenty of them there you go some audio cassettes as well I'm gonna make bundles of that as well so yeah hopefully hopefully I'm gonna get something out of that more than 20 quid if not I just want to get rid of them and I've got also these these are like uh, classical music things uh, in, including like a, like a series of those I must have like a half a dozen of them or something so yeah hopefully these will find uh, buyers as well and I've got one more of this Michael Palin and one more of Agatha Christie I may actually add that Agatha Christie uh, to that a crime pile yeah it should go well with it so yeah that's uh, and I've got this in that Agatha Christie bundle already uh, I think it's yeah there you go same one so yeah the only tapes that are missing are missing from this I think yeah there is one over here I don't know if you can see and one is missing from this one as well but well, somebody may pay a, may pay a fiver for it, a free postage or something. Yeah, I'm glad I did it actually, because they were lying on my dead pile for flipping ages. I mean years, guys. I mean years. Must have been like three years, maybe four. So yeah, photograph them, pack them, and let them go. Make some money. Hi guys. It's quarter past six in the morning on Sunday. Yeah, and I'm already here in front of eBay office to do some work. I think I'm gonna work till about noon, maybe half past twelve. And then I'm gonna go back home. I've got some stock. It came yesterday, but I'll wait with that stock till about half past nine ten o'clock to pull it out of the car I don't want to make noise in the morning on Sunday I'm gonna uh, give people a chance to have a sleep uh, yeah I have almost done that stock take one box left I just didn't have a piece of paper yesterday I, I may not taken today as well oh shit I think I've left it uh, I may, I'll have to have a look proper look in that bag I may have left it as well but that's not a problem it's just the one box uh, yeah I will carry on with those audio audio books and audio cassettes uh, today and then maybe if I'll take that stock into the eBay uh, office I may actually re record some whole videos for you yeah let's I'll see you inside so the last box guys is done uh, I get I get like four out of this box that are not listed so I have sorted these out as well this box is going back sorry going back there and these guys are going back 
to these boxes but but I have to seal them first because I've run out of tape at home last night so yeah I'm gonna seal them and put them back to the respective boxes I'll see you later okay guys these parcels are back in the storage boxes so let's jump on something else I think we're gonna tackle those uh, audio tapes and audio books so guys this is my setup to photograph things like shoes and no clothing things these are just uh, laminate floor planks glued together uh, in like a two separate uh, two separate sheets uh, cheapest planks that I could buy in weeks I think they were because the box was open they were like seven quid uh, there are screws over here and over here so this thing is not move so this thing is not moving anywhere to the front uh, lights I've bought this on eBay for a tenner this and the same one over here cost me I think 12 quid altogether and they are all connected DIY connected really to the socket via plugs so I can pull it out from the socket when I leave and everything is safe when I'm not here yeah so I'm going to tackle those tapes okay guys it's going super slow this is what I've managed to uh, to photograph and pack uh, this is what's left uh, it's already in the boxes and this has left as well but I've got some nice boxes that I can actually put these guys like that and it will fit that box perfectly so I'm gonna do that but I don't have that those boxes here I can't find them anyway I think they are in the house in the loft actually so I'll go later on today and have a look also one thing to mention as well those green boxes and those those pinkish orange boxes and those boxes that I'm gonna use for those small bundles of two cassettes or three cassettes I've got them for free from eBay when they were changing supplier for their uh, for their packaging they have sent me plenty of boxes uh, some obsolete sizes uh, a lot of them and some uh, massive 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 uh, poly mailers as well that I'm using from time to time they were free so I'm not uh, bothered uh, basically what I do I refuse to pay for packaging if I don't have to so I always go to Asda or Morrison's and I take some boxes from them however these were free so I'm not that bothered and to be honest it saves me time uh, because uh, you know time is money uh, all those packed cassettes and tapes if I can make a quid profit on every single bundle then I'm, I've got my money back and some profit and I still got some left to do so yeah and hopefully I'm gonna make more than a quid because we are not here to get our money back we are here to pay our bills so hopefully I'm going to sell them for some decent money okay guys that will be it for this video uh, I'm going home because it's Sunday and we are going away tomorrow uh, and we will be back on Friday so I'm gonna post this video but then for a few days I'm not going to post anything and I'm going to carry on posting videos those kind of vlog style of videos uh, later on when I'm back yeah thank you very much for watching guys I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to the channel it is greatly appreciated uh, once again thank you very much for watching god bless you all and bye bye